welcome back to our channel and today we're gonna to be doing for you Jamaican escovitch fish for those who don't know what escovitch fish is it is a fried fish meal which is topped with a spicy brine as well as a medley of pickled vegetables all right now traditionally we will use pickled onions we'll use um, peppers and this is always done with uh, vinegar all right so we'll create the, the the brine with vinegar and all those uh, vegetables together thus creating the escovitch sauce now we will be doing that for you today now I have my version if you guys have another way of doing it just leave it in the comment section and we can discuss it all right so without further delay let's get right into it So today we're making for you um, escovitch fish, all right? So right here we have a red snapper, already cleaned, already washed, and it's washed with uh, vinegar and lime, dried, and I'm now gonna be doing the dry seasoning. Now, what we have here as dry seasoning is onions, I mean, onion powder, Jamaican fish seasoning, that's easy spice that we have here. We have black peppers and we have garlic powder. All right. Now for the other seasoning we do have, and this is gonna be the seasoning that we're gonna be including in the in the brine that we're gonna make that makes it escovitch fish and not just fried fish. All right. So we have bell peppers here. We have red, green, and gold. That's the colors as you know. And we also have a half of a large carrot that we're going to julienne. We also have half of a large onion that we're going to be using as well. So first thing, let's go ahead and get our fish prepared. Now for the fish, we're going to be making two diagonal slices like this on both sides. Now the purpose for these slices is to infuse the seasoning into the fish and also to ensure that it does not um, get distorted when frying. Alright, so let's go ahead and mix this seasoning together, this dry seasoning. Okay. Now that we have mixed the seasoning together, what we're gonna do here is first season the inside of the fish. So we do it like this and put a lot of seasoning in the head of the fish and cover the entirety of the inside, all right? So that the seasonings can be infused properly. Okay, and we get the head. All right, so next we'll put some seasoning in the little areas that we had cut earlier. So just coat the body of the fish with some of this seasoning. Okay. So our fish is well seasoned. And this is a red snapper, okay? Now, pro tip, when you are buying fish, you make sure you check the eyes to make sure it's not cloudy. And that's one of the ways to know whether your fish is fresh or not, all right? Okay, so now we have this seasoned. I'm gonna put it aside for a little bit. And while I get the, uh, the other seasonings um, prepared, all right. 
now it's time to prepare the other seasoning. We'll first julienne the carrot. What I like to do first of all is cut the carrot in half. All right, and then you can cut some real thin strips. Now that we have prepared the seasoning, we're gonna go ahead now and prepare the escovitch mixture, all right? So, okay. So to create this brine, we'll have the stove on high. We'll add some vinegar. Just enough based on the amount of fish that you'll be, um, you'll be using it on. And to that, we'll add some granulated sugar. Alright, and that is to balance out the um, the tanginess of the uh, of the vinegar. We'll also add a few seeds of pimento or allspice. Then we'll add a few of the peppers that we sliced earlier. And also use your discretion with the pepper because it is extremely hot and do it based on your tolerance, all right? Now let that simmer for just a little bit. I'm not gonna be using a lot of pepper because um, I'm not the only one that's gonna be having it and their tolerance is not as high as mine. Alright, the next thing we're going to add to that mixture is going to be our carrots, alright? So we'll give them a little bit more time to cook. After adding our carrots, then we'll add our onions. Okay, so after adding the onion rings, next step would be to add our peppers.
at these beautiful colors. Now, traditionally, this this brine that we're creating, it uh, we normally make a batch and put it in a, in a bottle and preserve it to be used whenever we're having fish, all right? Now I'll just let this co uh, cover this under this simmer for a while before going on to frying our fish. Okay, now that the oil is nice and hot, I'll be seasoning the oil with uh, whole pepper. I also put three cloves of garlic and a couple of pimento seeds. All right. I'll give that a second, then I'll be adding my fish. All right, and here we go with our fish. Our fish is a little bit too big for our pot. All right, so now we'll leave this to fry on each side for about five minutes or so. Um, most people will do three or four minutes, but I like it a little bit more crispy, so I'll leave it there for about five minutes or so. All right. Now it's about that time to turn on fish. napkin so here's our fish on a piece of napkin and we're gonna let it sit for a little while just to drain the excess oil okay all right so now that our fish is finished we will now add our escovies seasoning to it it smells so unbelievable all right and it also looks so beautiful now you could just chisel a little bit of your uh, your mixture on the fish itself so it will soak in all the vinegar and all that um, spice and flavor all right and there you have it escovitch fish jamaican style
and there you have it Jamaican excavated fish my version all right now if you enjoyed the video if you learned anything from this video please give us a thumbs up please don't forget to subscribe and hit the post notification bell so you'll be advised when next we post all right and until next time walk good